Hi all, this is Jenny Mary, and I am going to go over a couple of tips for reviewing routines and procedures and holding your students accountable. So in this presentation, we're going to discuss how to review your um, attention getters with your students, when to review this routine with your students, and how to hold your students accountable. So when you decide to review your attention getter, um, some tips that I have are uh, make sure that you're directly teaching your attention getter, just like you would any content that you're teaching in your classroom. So you might want to start off with um, setting the scene for your students. Today, we're going to review what it looks like and sounds like when I ask the whole class for your attention. You are going to teach or review this routine like it's brand new. And in some cases, it might be brand new. Maybe you notice that the attention getter that you've been using um, for a couple of weeks or for the whole school year is just not working and you need to try out a new one. And that is perfectly fine. So teach it like it's brand new, um, even if it's not brand new. Practice this routine a couple of times to ensure students understand. Um, it might not be just a couple of times, it might be several times. Um, make sure that they completely understand this routine before you move on. When to review this routine with your students. Um, here are some, some tips and some ideas. Um, at the beginning of class, start the day off strong. Maybe it is at the beginning of class for a whole week when you're introducing a new one. Um, maybe you have a couple of new students to a class period or to your class environment. Maybe some students seem confused. Maybe they've just come back from independent study for a couple of weeks and they completely forgot what you need to do, uh, what they need to do when you're asking for the class's attention. So um, take some time to review that with those new students or confused students. After a long weekend, might need to give a gentle reminder of what your expectations are. And especially after a long break. So after our like Thanksgiving break that's coming up, um, winter break, or even spring break, um, the first day back, I always reviewed my attention getters with my students um, to make sure that they remembered and didn't forget it when they were on break. All right, and then this is a very short video. It's just gonna show what one teacher uses in a middle school classroom and how she holds her students accountable for the attention getter. So before you practice this with your students, make sure that you communicate your expect expectations. What do you want them to do when you use your attention getter? Um, should they not have anything in their hands? Where should their eyes be? Um, what do they do if they're in the middle of a conversation with um, one of their peers? So what exactly do you want them to do? So make sure that you communicate your expectations before you practice. And then you'll see in the video, she does not move on until she has everyone's attention. In some cases, this may mean some awkward silence for a minute or so, and that's okay. Um, you are making sure that you're holding them accountable and that awkward silence is part of that. Um, this also may mean a couple minutes of practicing until everyone gets it. Afterward, um, try to remember to thank your students or the table groups who were meeting your expectations. You may need to pull some students aside later that day and ask them if they understand the expectations. So maybe it took them a couple of times of practicing this to show you that they understood. So just take them aside and quietly talk to them about that making sure that you're holding them accountable for the expectations that you've set. So here is a teacher doing it with her middle school students. So again, just wanted you to notice that she did not move on and she was scanning the room to make sure that everyone was giving her the signal back that she um, expects from her students. And please remember that taking time to practice your routines and procedures is something that most teachers have to do a couple times a year. This does not mean that you're doing anything wrong. Um, and 
Um, sometimes you have to do it a couple times a year, a couple times a month, maybe even um, every week for a couple of weeks. Again, you're not doing anything wrong by um, holding high expectations for your students. And holding your students accountable will benefit everyone in the long run, and you are doing great. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a great week.